lack of goodwill and honesty that you shall on the not side. remove without replacement but you shall replace as is akin in football matches where you substitute a player therefore either the minority or the majority if the majority wants to replace their leader of majority or their deputy whip or their whip we replace we do not remove and honorable speaker is also true that power abhors vacuums and what uh, we are being asked to do is to remove and leave a vacuum honorable speaker and i really want to ask our colleagues honorable speaker to be patient and exercise patience you have already said honorable speaker that nothing stops them even tomorrow from writing to you and express their desire to replace any member, be it in a committee or in their leadership. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I just want to implore our colleagues to exercise patience to also conduct the affairs of this House with less emotions, Honorable Speaker. Uh, only yesterday, Honorable Speaker, when the Honorable Leader of Minority raised that issue on the floor. I remember, Honorable Speaker, when you tried to stop him in his tracks because he was doing it at the wrong time, the leader of minority became very emotional. The Honorable Atandi uttered some unpalatable words, just like I've heard the Honorable Rosa Buyu utter today, like the Honorable Babu Awino was trying to do. Honorable Speaker, we need to conduct this house with some decorum, Honorable Speaker, including when you want to raise a point of order, you do not shout from your seat. You invite the speaker's attention, Honorable Speaker. And for instance, Honorable Speaker, when I invited your attention, is on a matter also touching on the decorum here in the House, that when you recognize students who ought to be emulating us as leaders and as their role models, we have a tradition and a culture in this House when you want to cheer, you foot thump, Honorable Speaker, but not bank tables, Honorable Speaker, and that is a matter I had wanted to raise about the Honorable Babu Awino. And Honorable Speaker, I just want to implore on our colleagues in the minority, please, as the Honorable Speaker has ruled in his uh, uh, communication, put your house in order. We do pray, Honorable Speaker, as much as uh, we are also hurt. Because, Honorable Speaker, you know I was a ranking member in the Jubilee Party, and I found a member of Jubilee. And therefore, I still have... Uh, some a bit of feelings for my friends in Jubilee. It's called nostalgia. Uh, some nostalgia, Honorable Speaker. Honestly, I, I do have. Some, I am very nostalgic about uh, Jubilee because we had great plans for this country under Jubilee, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, I had hoped, also, Honorable Speaker, that you would, in your ruling, communicate that you recognize Jubilee Party as a distinct parliamentary political party which they qualify understanding order 20A1, Honorable